Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to make another update about how Sebastian is doing. So we got the results of Sebastian's blood panel back and it suggested that he had kidney disease. And um, I didn't know anything about it when I first heard that and I got extremely worried that it was a death sentence. And then I found out that if we can pinpoint the cause of it, there's a chance that we could treat the thing that's causing the kidney disease to help treat the kidney disease. So, that's what we kind of were gonna do. And then I spoke to the Ottawa Ferret Rescue Society again, and they told me that his dehydration could have slightly skewed the blood panel results. So I brought this up to the vet who talked to the specialist that they're in contact with about it. And they said that that is possible, but it still wouldn't explain the hematocrit being so low because that wouldn't come from the dehydration alone. He said that the kidney changes could also be false increases due to another infection or disease. Sebastian's returning energy also doesn't quite fit in with kidney disease because over the last, I'd say two days, he's started to get some of his energy back and he'll have these about 20 minute long bursts of energy where he'll seem almost completely normal and he'll play around like nothing is wrong and then he'll just curl back up and sleep again. Um, he's also eating and drinking on his own and his poops are completely normal and have been for quite a few days now. So right now our plan is that on Monday we are going to be doing another blood panel when he is uh, more hydrated since he's been drinking water on his own again to see if the blood panel shows anything differently this time. This has been such an emotional roller coaster for me, especially since I was informed that it was most likely kidney disease. I was at work when I found out, it was near the end of my shift and I ended up breaking down. Luckily I was working with my sister for the end of the shift so I was able to have her kind of understand what was going on and be there for me because like I was crying at work and stuff and she was trying to calm me down and I was trying to calm myself down and stuff. So it was really um, lucky that I was with her when I had heard that because I don't know how well I would have handled it if I was not working with either my sister or Nick. It was also really hard because the day that I found out that it was most likely kidney disease was on the 28th and the 28th of August is when we lost our affair at Thomas. So it was exactly six months to the day that I had learned that it was most likely kidney disease that Sebastian had and I didn't know if it was a death sentence or not and I just thought that it was just, I, the, the fact that it was exactly six months apart really hit me hard and I didn't handle that well. But things are starting to look up for Sebastian. The fact that his dehydration could have skewed the results of the blood panel, um, making it look like kidney disease could still be there's still a chance that it may not be that. It could be something different. It could be something easier to, to fix. Um, and he's getting these bursts of energy, which don't seem to line up with kidney disease. And he's drinking and eating normally. He seems to be doing a lot better. He has been going into dead sleeps again, which he hasn't done in like a couple of weeks actually. So that was something that caught me off guard today because it scared me at first. And he's been giving me a lot of like kisses on my hands and stuff as well as you know, running around hiding his tennis ball, his favorite toy is this little red tennis ball that we have and he stashes it and, chase, and like basically just carries it around all over the place. Um, and he was playing with his brothers and sisters and he was playing in the tube that we have for them, like a tunnel. So things are starting to look up a little bit and I'm really hoping that they continue to do so. If you could please keep sending Sebastian healing vibes, I would really, really appreciate it because something is working and I want to believe that it is everybody's <laughs> Hi. And I want to believe that it's everybody's love for him that's making a difference. And um, yeah, his GoFundMe link I'll put in the description if you want to help out still because we don't really know what to expect now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.